of our second stop. Gem grab is going to be our next map type. Jump into this next game. We've got Piper, Jean, and Penny for the side of PSG. I think this is a really kind of like old school comp being run here by PSG, but Jordan, however, is a very good sniper and coming straight out the bat with a two piece there on mode. He does go down and uh, continuously uh, bullying here, jumping away as well, just to make sure that those three gems in that early pickup stay safe. But um, uh, yeah, I mean, for me, Piper is a bit of a high risk for to play as gem carrier here, but uh, Jordan making it look very, very easy again with another takedown. Uh, definitely controlling that middle very, very comfortably here for PSG. Yeah, that wide open space you have to go and commit to to get those gems. He just takes them down. You can't escape. You feel the burn as soon as you go in. Walks forward, blows up some. Oh, he doesn't actually touch any of the cover, but it does get him back to safety with his super. Little Giant is isolated in the brush. They've actually lost track of him. Coudier's going to walk around top of him. He's going in for the gem carrier. How have you let that happen? Little Giant's going to get away with this one as well. Look at that. He's able to walk out with Moding. He's been able to heal him up as well. That's a fantastic run and grab from Little Giant and the rest of Abdo. And this is what I was thinking about Tara's uh, gadget being so strong here. Psychic Enhancer would have actually been able to uh, share that information with uh, the teammates for them to know exactly where uh, where uh, the Rosa was lying in those bushes. And actually, but one thing to remember with uh, Rosa's gadget is that by placing those bushes on the right hand side, as you can see, um, actually would provide Jordan more power as he is running ambush, uh, which is a really, really strong star power for Piper to be able to hit shots more effectively. So actually, but now with the countdown, the pressure's now on for Jordan to get this takedown here and i think he's gonna lose the 1v1 here it does go down they're not shying away off little giant was like all right come fight me then hit him the brush and let them walk right into the point blank range of this rosa and now they've only got one person to try and contest them realistically abdo had a very shaky start, but they flip it back round to take it. Popping off, hitting really consistent shots, getting lots of kills and keeping those gems. It was just in those moments uh, of not having his super, not being able to retreat away from those Amortis throws the place. Wow. <laughs> so Wuyuk's gone on on Amortis. So we don't see this a lot. He's onto the back line of Jordan already in and out with the damage. And he's going to be able to get up in front. PSG can't even get set up right now. They've had to back away from all of this pressure. And Lil Giant's still taking the fight to Jordan, keeping him right in the spawn room. It's a really, really smart strategy. Oh, if, if, oh, if, yeah, if, if PSG are going to be running Piper uh, and you've got all that aggress uh, aggressive uh, brawler combinations putting, being put together by Abdo, this makes absolute sense. sense. Shut Jordan down. He was doing so, so well on the previous game. And running Mortis here is very daring. I love this from Abdo. I've got to say. They can, this is amazing. So Lil Giant is compacting PSG together. They didn't even need to do it then, but Wukok can get maximum value out of his damage when they're all condensed. So he can hit through multiple members of the PSG team and Rilai can't even get out of the spawn room. He's gonna go for the 2K. He takes a 2v1 and he gets away with it as well. The Mortis pick, it is a rare sight, but it's fantastic to see as Abdo have already secured those 10 gems. Oh, it's fantastic to see. Mortis is one of these brothers which doesn't really tend to get much uh, pro play action because he's so high risk but look at this app they're making it look so so easy and being very daring in the process and uh, he who dares not gonna happen twice Apto rolling out with the pan this time in place of that but kudias and jordan both changing it up here tara and pan coming into the lineup with the really? rock as well yeah, I think this is a great strategy from PSG and uh, what they should have been doing a, a while back is just trying different things out, looking for holes in the Abdo strategy. And there you can see Kuda Ace using that uh, that Tara gadget there uh, to kind of seek out and know that location of the Rosa. So, so importantly done. I mean, it survived uh, on 4 HP, that interaction. Oh, oh great pull burning. by Moaning as well, keeping him alive. Amazing plays for Abdo. Able to keep the little giant safe because they're obviously trying to creep around the terrain to finish him off. Incredibly low HP. He's going to get in the face of Kudi A's. Pull out the damage. He pops his own shield as well. Jordan might be under the pressure right now. Doesn't matter that PSG are playing a slightly more meta composition. Apto have control of the mid, have control of the gem spawner, and now they're starting to lose control of it. But great pull again means that they can't entrench themselves. PSG will probably only get two gems from this at best, but will have to back off. Yeah, I mean, it's looking really bleak at the moment for PSG's app. They were dominating those gene pools, moaning, just absolutely getting to them. Well, that is the end. Ace does get 
a fantastic suck there. Additional pressure being added, but the pull again! <laughs> My goodness me! Um, it's gonna be a countdown for Abdo here, but I do feel like this is what PSG should have been doing a long time ago. You can already see the difference in the playstyle here. Difference in the playstyle, a lot more back and forth. Abdo are in control. You've got to fight through quite a beefy pan on this one. No cover to hide behind. They might be able to get the kill. Oh! And no, oh, they finish him off just in time to reset the timer. But they can't get out with the gems. This is pretty much done for now that they're sitting inside Abdo's spawn. Yeah, and especially sitting with that Rosa as well. And if she gets super there, um, it can be very, very difficult. As the pool goes in by Murdy, gets the takedown on Kuda Ace. And I think this one is going to be over. Abdo looking very, very strong for me today as they take the second set.